Hey there YouTubers, alright so in this video we're going to replace the uh, two 4 gig sticks of RAM basically this is the exact model that's in there with two 8 gig sticks of HP 3200 megahertz RAM okay so to save time I have uh, already gone ahead and loosened the side panel here use the flathead basically you just have this one screw right here and then boom this thing slides right off okay easy day on that now you can see our RAM here um, you know two ways you go about this one the easy way which is to just uh, you know get to it as it sits in there uh, the more difficult way would be to take all this crap out right uh, notice there's already some things different in this HP computer than uh, what yours may look like. So let's go ahead and take out the RAM, all right? So one thing you want to make sure of is that you are, uh, you've dissipated any electric, electrostatic. So, you know, just try and get that off your body, touch the case. If you have the gear, go ahead and do that. Um, you know it is winter right now so a little easier to build up static so we're going to basically undo both sides of this now this is one of those places where this computer was not designed all that great um, hard to get in here and get these guys and then this cable has a tendency to get caught down here so uh, and you'll see that you may see that as you're putting your own RAM in, so be extremely careful because you could damage it, okay? You don't want to damage it. All right, so let's just make sure I have my the right RAM. There's one, 8 gig, and so we don't want to put 4 gig back in. So be careful how you put these in. The label should face the back of the case basically, okay? So here's the back of the case. And you'll want to put the uh, the far one in first. And you're going to want to avoid this cabling. So this is a place where obviously if you took the hard drive caddy out, this would be a little easier. And you're going to see me struggle a little bit. I've done this already. Because uh, we've actually tried a couple different RAMs on this. Okay. So now I'm going to pull this cable out of the way so it doesn't get caught in there. Because you could damage that cable. And that is the cable that controls the power to the CPU. So if that no longer works, uh, yeah, your computer's not going to work. Uh, so now I'm going to press down. And I want to hear snaps. Hopefully on both sides. Okay. And then I'm just going to go ahead and see if I can pull it out without... Um, okay. So it seems to be in there. Alright. Did I already misplace the other RAM? Yeah. Here you go. Here's the other 8 gig. Um, you know, I was thinking about... I may do a video where I mix the... A four and an eight just to see you know it's it's easier honestly on eBay to buy a single eight than it is to get two eights like I did I this was from a, a new HP pole uh, that I got this from and you know I paid way less than I would have if I was to upgrade from eight to 16 gigs all right so press down did not get the cable caught. Uh, honestly, if this was designed better, you know, they would have had something to hook this up here to keep it out of the way, but that's HP for you. So in reverse, you know, we put the cover back on, right? And then screw that back in. So I'll have some links down below uh, to compare 16 gigs to eight gig. Maybe I'll do a benchmark video. Uh, perhaps I will, well, I definitely will do Fortnite I'll use replay mode, compare 8 to 16, and I may just do 12. 
uh, maybe at a later time. Thanks for checking out the video. Hope you got something out of it. Please like, please subscribe. Thank you.